What's up guys, this is Clay. I am the president and owner of Thunder Laser USA. And today we're gonna do a quick tutorial on engraving and painting a plaque. Now, this is a great way to really make your plaques pop. So instead of just engraving them or sealing them, you can add in some different color, really helps it stand out and really makes it pop. It looks really nice. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm over here in Lightburn. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is draw um, something to work in here. So this is, this is gonna be the size of my en engravable area on my plaque. So I measured from like just this top piece right here, it's five by seven. So I'm gonna make a square that's five by seven. gonna unlock it and then I'm gonna turn this into a tool layer so it won't engrave it and then the next thing I want to do I'm just going to import our logo okay and so you see guys that uh, this is not vectorized so you can see all these little uh, blemishes with the pixels so I want to go ahead and vectorize this so I'm going to trace this image and then you can see here as when I go in to trace it it's not picking up this gray part so I want to increase my threshold till it, okay there it picked it up so that's just telling it where it's going to um, what the threshold is for what it's going to trace I'm gonna click OK so I got it traced I still got that on a tool layer so I'm going to change it to I'm gonna make it red and fill because I want to engrave this. Size this down a bit. All right, and then I'm gonna highlight both of these and then I want to vertically align it. Cool, cool, cool. Now I'm gonna make the rest of this. So our company font is called Wix made for display, so I'm gonna use that one. These are a little bit too close together, so I'm going to add some V space between them so that starts to spread them out. You can see as I increase this V space, the words get further apart. Okay, so I got those kind of drawn in there. Now I'm gonna make my square around my core values shape. And then I wanna do, I'm gonna use the, um, the offset tool here. So I'm gonna tell it, hey, I wanna repeat this. Uh, and I can tell it if I wanna make it round or beveled or corner, I just wanna make it a square. So click okay. That gives me my little box around my core values. So I've got it all typed out here and now I'm going to send it over to the laser machine. So I'm gonna do a, a slightly lighter engrave on all the, all the logo stuff up here because what I learned as I was doing this one is that when you have these really small letters, they need to be a little bit deeper, but as you make bigger letters, it needs to be more shallow. So you're trying to find that perfect spot of uh, just kind of getting right under your masking. Um, but with the, the, these small letters are quite a bit more hard to fill with paint. So as you guys are doing this, you might think about that and try to make your letters bigger. The, easy, the, the bigger the letters are, the easier they are to fill, I guess, is the point. Okay guys, so I wanna mask my plaque. So I've got some real thick masking tape here. I'm gonna put the masking tape all over the plaque so that it protects the plaque while I'm engraving it. And then also uh, when I engrave, I'm gonna leave the masking on there while I paint. So I'll be able to spray over the masking uh, to paint the plaque. And then I'm gonna use a squeegee to really get this down. If you don't do this, the masking can blow away after you engrave it. The little pieces might blow away. So make sure you get it really stuck down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cover these edges too because when I go to paint, I'm gonna use spray paint and they'll blow on there. All right, now I'm all masked up like it's 2021. Let's head over to the laser machine. All right guys, now I'm gonna put it in the laser machine 
And some of you might be wondering, so as I set it in here, it's how do I get this, uh, how do I get this square, right? How do I know when this plaque is square? Well, what I do, I'm gonna put the laser beam in the top left corner, and then I'm gonna jog the laser to the right, and now I can see that I'm off. So I need to move the plaque up, and then once the laser beam goes all the way across and it stays level with the plaque, then I know I'm square in my machine. So there I go from one side to the other, and it goes from one corner to the other, I know I'm square. I can also check it going down this way, and we're good. I'm gonna set my origin right here, and then I'm gonna hit frame, or autofocus, and then I'm gonna hit the frame button, and show me where it's gonna engrave, that looks good, and then I'm gonna hit play. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop it with some clear coat. So this is basically to seal the engraving so that the paint uh, doesn't bleed into the wood. So I wanna seal it first. And then you want to paint with, uh, with, it, with it upright like this so that the paint doesn't bleed down into it. Do it real light. Now we're gonna let that dry and we'll be back. Okay guys, so now I've got my black spray paint. Uh, you can see I've actually put another piece of masking over the thunder laser so that I can protect that so that won't get sprayed. And then again, just pop it with some nice light layers. All right, so now I've got my blue and I've got the bottom part of the plaque mask so that I can just hit the top here. And one more time, looks good. All right, guys, we're all painted up here, so I'm just gonna take the masking off and we'll be done. Okay, then when you pull the tape off, you're gonna have some of these little leftover pieces. You can actually, once it's dry, you can just scrape these off with a flat tool. Okay guys, so there you have it. Uh, we tried a few different methods for this. We actually used acrylic paint too before we shot this video. Uh, we found that the spray paint worked the best. And uh, so I hope that was helpful. The clear coat and the painting and the masking and all that, I hope those tips were helpful. So uh, subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this and we'll talk to you soon, bye.